Good morning, ladies. Today I'm going to do secret seven on micro needling. Now I've done one or two micro needling in depths, but never a whole post dedicated to it. And lots of you ask questions, especially also on Facebook. Um, lots of women have asked questions and they see me doing micro needling and they want to know how to do it. So I just thought I'd really religiously go through the merits of micro needling, why I believe in it so much and all the different options and price points that we have for buying micro needles uh, for every pocket. So I started micro needling probably about six years ago and I had done it first with a dermatologist who did a peel on me. Um, using Julie Hunter products and then she did a 1.5 needle on my face so when you have microneedling done at a professional dermatologist or cosmetologist they will use a bigger needle and these are not needles that you should use at home at all because at home microneedling to me is very different from um, a dermatologist microneedling but if you just to understand why I think it's such a good thing Long term for me, it does help with fine lines, it helps with wrinkles, it helps to break down pigmentation, it gives a plumpness to your skin, um, it accelerates the exfoliation of dead skin cells, it reduces the size of pores, um, it helps your skin to restore itself without any kind of outside ingredients, but when you use ingredients, if products are applied immediately afterwards, it gives a sort of channel for that the micro needles create and it will enable the products to have a maximum penetration um, so if you are you know looking at your skincare routine and thinking what's my biggest issue and if you spent you know on real high street price on everything but it was fine lines or pigmentation use retinols or vitamin c spend money on that product and then that's the product to me that you should use after you've micro needled um, so that's my rounder, bigger picture. And I find that the best time to do it for me is at night, not in the morning. And I usually do it on a, I do it twice a week actually, but on Sundays, I do a slightly bigger needle and I do a sort of Sunday facial, which some of you caught um, on my lives. And when I do that one, I'll do it before I go to sleep. Well, I sometimes do it first thing in the morning, but I'll do my, I'll do a peel, then I'll do a micro needle and then I'll put on um, a retinol. And then the next morning, but always because I'm doing retinol, I'm really make sure I have high SPF. So that's kind of key, whatever. Um, so preparation for microneedling is quite important for me too. And I'm just gonna show you what I tend to do for it. Products I love to use before I do a microneedling is a really good clean of the skin with um, a cleanser, whatever cleanser you choose, a bit of um, exfoliation, um, and I've just done that now. And then I'll, if I'm doing my nighttime routine, I'll take a peel, because I want to really peel my skin, get it all back. So I use, and I love Julia Hunter's peel. There are many different peels on the market, and you could use also a sort of mandelic, amalic acid, a lactic acid. You could also use like something like the vitamin C paste from Lixia, uh, which just is um, cleaning your skin and putting vitamin C in. And you can use that afterwards, actually. So, needles. Let's talk needles. First needle is a lovely needle. Actually, you know, I'm going to start with the lowest count needle. So, Teresa Tame, where's her needle? Who doesn't sell this separately, but has a whole routine. And it's not a cheap routine, but I'm going to show you what it is. Because for those of you who like an exciting routine... Teresa Tame sells a whole microneedling kit. In that microneedling kit, and I don't have an actual kit with me, is the microneedle, which is a low um, uh, needle. It's, you know, needles come in many sizes. The lowest is a 0 0.2, and that is talking about the length of the needle. Also important is how many needles are on a barrel. Some people have fewer and some people have more. And I kind of like about 600. I don't like ones like Environ has one and it has like 250 or something. I don't think that's right. Because if you imagine walking on a bed of needles and if you have too many, nothing would penetrate your feet. And if you have too few, it would go right in, but unevenly. So something in the middle works for me. Um, so Teresa Tame comes in a set and she has her microneedling tube 0.2, so I'm not going to do you 
any harm at all. She has her wonderful sort of um, massaging tool, which comes as well with the set. She has a um, hyaluronic mask, hyaluronic products, and some peptides. The whole thing is expensive. It's 300 and, let me just see how much it is, 350 pounds. It's an incredible set uh, if you're fanatical about your skincare. And then with the microneedle, you just take it in little feathery motions. Never make a tram line on your face. You just want to continuously go in feathery motions. And if you haven't done microneedling before, I would start with a 0.2. Um, so that is Teresa Tame's. Next one up is Mr. Gaspé, which is the cheaper version of Nanette de Gaspé. And this is zero point, let me just see, uh, 0 0.3. It's got 192 titanium needles um, and it's 30 pounds. This comes also, she makes wonderful masks, Nanette de Gaspé. She makes a sort of ready to wear and an expensive one. So the ready to wear one is... Uh, called Mr. Gaspé and she has Purify and Purge and a few others. So if you do microneedling and then put that mask on, the, the products in that mask really penetrate deeper. Uh, I love this needle actually, I think it works well and it's a really nice introduction to needling and that's 30 pounds. You can use them, um, I think for, it depends how often you do it, but I would say probably if you're using it twice a week, you could do sort of three months worth before you'd have to change that needle. So that's about 10 to 12 times. It's very important how you wash the needle because if you use it, you need to make sure your skin is incredibly clean, but you still might get a little bit of something on the needle. So there are products that some of these come with like this, which is a roller cleaner. And you just, what I do is I spray that on it and then I'll dip it in some boiling water and then I'll let it air dry. Um, so I've taken the chemicals off that have cleaned the roller and, um, and then I'm not attaching fibres. Sometimes I've rubbed it with a flannel, but I've realised those fibres can get attached to the needle. So it, that is key if you're going to do micro needling, you're really aware of the cleanliness around it. Um, number three will go on to Nanette de Gas, which is £35. This is 192 needles um, and this is 0 0.5. So this is a little, you know, you can feel on your skin there's a little more penetration. When you're at home, you never want to be making marks that result in bleeding. Very occasionally on an area where I feel I can go deeper. So I have, you know, around my eyes, I'll be really careful. I wouldn't actually do it around my eyes. On my cheeks, I'll just do that light feathering. I'm not pressing down hard. I'm just lightly feathering. And on my chin, I might do more because I did have acne scars there and I feel my skin is tougher. So areas where you feel you've had scarring or your skin feels stronger, you can just press down a little bit more. And if I kept doing this and I was doing my Sunday one, I might get, let's see if I can do it now, a tiny one little prick, but not more than that. Don't forget as well, for those ladies who've been talking about the neck, because microneedling is really good for the neck. Traditionally, it's quite difficult to get products that work on the neck. There's a few neck creams. Um, Sizzly has a beautiful neck cream. A few other companies. Pi has a neck cream I was trying last week, I was talking about. But doing microneedling on your neck, which is an area we tend to not always pay attention to, is key. And then to put on your retinol, um, which is probably the best thing to put on a neck. Um, so it will give stimulation. See, it's gone a little bit red, that would die down. That is Nanette de Gaspé, that's 35 pounds. Now, um, going up a bit, Swiss Clinic here has in a way a whole kit. So Swiss Clinic, um, asked, this is 79 pounds and it comes with 600 needles on each barrel. So even though you start, you can go 0 0.2 and then a 0 0.5 for the face and a 0 0.5 for the body, um, because there are more needles, do you remember what I said about the man walking on the needle bed? Uh, I don't feel, I mean, I feel the penetration on the 0 0.5, but because there's more needles, it's nearly like the Nanette 0 0.3. But you do feel more, so you've got to be gentle. I would say in terms of going up, do three months 0 0.2, and then you could do three months 0 0.5, and 
Some people build up at home and do go to a one, but I think you really need to have experience to do that. Um, the most expensive of the needles probably is the Glow Pro, um, because Theresa Tommy has a whole set of other things, but as a needle itself. And this comes with a battery, it's rechargeable, because it has an infrared light, LED light. Now this LED light is nothing like my mask that I've used. And also, if you're going around your skin like this, I feel it's not, the LED light is not on your face enough to actually have an impact like the other LEDs I use. But where I find this really interesting, um, let me just give you the price. Sorry, I'm going to give you the price first. Yeah, Glow Pro, Be Beauty Bioscience Glow Pro, 199 pounds. 540 needles, 0 0.3. There's one for the lip, there's one for the body. It all attaches to this. You can get attachments, which are then less. When I have a spot, which is a bit rare, but I used to have one. But when I have a spot, and it's a hormonal spot, it's down here, I will sometimes sit in front of the telly and I just have this on, so I'm keeping that light in the same position very light feathery motions like that. I'm hardly, it's more to get the light continuously on it. So I'll do like 20 minutes just doing this. And then I'll put on, I might put on some different gel or something just to help the spot. The next morning, that's gone down a lot more than if I didn't use that combination. So if, if you have pesky spots that come up, singular spots, um, I, I kind of love that and I keep that for that reason. Um, so that's face. There's a few more. Amazon also, you can go to Amazon, you can get lots of different needles. But I think the most important thing is you're gonna get a needle which is not a known name like the ones I've mentioned. Then make sure you have one with titanium needles because that is the safest and best needle that you can have. So a brand, I've literally just got this now. I'm gonna just open it for you. I, I've bought these a lot off Amazon. This is here, there, ZGTS Titanium Dermal Roller. It's 13 pounds comes in every single size, so don't just suddenly think, whoa, I'll do a big size. I would start, if you haven't done it before, with a 0 0.2, then you can go to 0 0.3, 0 0.5. I have done 0 0.75 as well, but just have done, you need to have done it for a year or so before you go that high. Um, and don't press down, ladies. Some of you, when I talked about microneedling the first time, got really excited and rushed off and got big needles and went crazy and was like, oh, my skin is so red. So be aware. <laughs> be aware. This is something that's, you know, you're nearly bringing a medical thing into your own home. You have to do it carefully. Um, so it comes in a pot like that. Airtight, air sealed, which I like. Um, and here's the needle. And this is... This is a 0.75. This is the highest I would go to. You can use these for face or body. So I've been inclined to consider using that baby for the body. You can see the needles are just a little bit more if I just show you. I don't know how many needles are on this barrel. I think it looks like the Mr. Gas. I think it looks like the Teresa Tame, a bit more than the Teresa Tame. You can see that's 0.2. Hang on, let me just go. That's 0.2. And that's, you see, it's 0 0.75. So this, if you're using it on the body, this is the way I do it. And be careful, because sometimes I get carried away, and then I have marks on my arms. I will go like that, and it's really important to keep crisscrossing, because otherwise you will feel, um, sometimes on an arm, I'll just keep going like that, and I'll feel this dry patch a few days later, which I can actually feel on my arm now. But I will just go over bits where I feel it needs a bit of stimulation, the skin, and just gentle feathering motions. It's amazing how much it will have an effect. And after a few seconds, it will go a little bit red and you'll see it. You can do a one on your body as well. I'm just doing a 0 0.75 here to show you. I'll do probably these areas. I'll do my knees because I think that knees can just get a bit slaggy. That's not really a word, is it? Um, slacky. It's a very bad word as well. They can just fall down. So by doing my knees, I'm just going to kick the collagen into a bit of action. Um, and then after I do this, I'll probably put the Amorolite body lotion on. But I just go to areas where I feel the skin is very slack and hasn't got much movement. Even you could go up to that inner thigh cellulite feeling. Try and keep feathering like that. And put on a good product. So after I do that, oh, I would either put on, let me show you, I'll put on the KP 
KP Duty Derma Doctor. This is a peel for the body. So now that I've got a little sort of, not channel, let's call it, what should we call it, channel, where the micro is penetrated, I'll put on this peel and it will go through better. Your skin might get a little dry patch while you've done the microneedling and after a week that will sort of go. That sometimes happens to me and sometimes doesn't, but afterwards the texture of my skin feels plumper, it's got more bounce to it, and then I'll end up with a more light which has got an element of vitamin A in, and it's a very good skin smoothing body lotion. It smells a bit weird, it used to smell a lot weird and they got better on it, but it gives hydration and it brings back your plumpness to your skin. And that's it. That's micro needling with all the options. Let me just put them back here in the sink. There we go. So the most important things to do are to get a needle to start low on the needle size, to make sure you always clean your needle after use. Very important. Um, all right, uh, great. I've done it for five years, I think. I love it. I think it's an integral part of my skincare routine. Afterwards, I will then put on a good vitamin C or a nice um, a retinol. I'm loving Medicaid at the moment. I'm doing the nighttime one as well. I could do vitamin C. If you have pigmentation, pregnancy mask, melasma, I do believe microneedling can assist in the um, reduction of pigmentation. And I think if you concentrate on the areas you've got pigmentation, don't go mad, just start gently. Then put on a strong vitamin C you really see that that pigmentation will begin to break down. And all right, ladies, I've got to go now. I'm really sorry not to answer all your questions, but um, in consider introducing the concept of microneedling into your life. Gently, it will change your skin a day at a time. Be your best, ladies. Have a great day. Bye.